Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby and today I have one of my favorite vehicles with me. This is the 2023 K5 GT. So this is the top of the line model for the K5. Um, very, very different than the models below. You do get the 2.5 liter turbo with the eight speed dual clutch transmission. This makes this car a power house, okay? I love driving it. It is a very rare car, very hard to come by in Canada. That's why we really wanted to film this as soon as we got it. It might still be a little bit dirty. I'm sorry, we tried our best. Let's take a look at under the hood. So like I mentioned, 2.5 liter four cylinder turbo. This outputs 290 horsepower and 311 pound foot of torque. And let me tell you, it flies. Zero to 100 is 8.4 seconds. And it really, really is a ton of fun. I'm someone who definitely likes a sportier car. Now I don't own a sportier car. Sad, I know. <laughs> so whenever we get to drive something like this, we're in love. I love it. Um, it is a ton, a ton of fun. We're gonna take a look around, talk about the features, differences from the trim line below and price point. So this one is 40,995 plus HST. Um, and that is the Canadian pricing. So US specs may be a bit different. I'll close this up. You'll notice the hood is hydraulic. So I'm just gonna give it a good <laughs> smack down. I'm sorry if that was loud. It's very close to my mic. Um, another thing I want to point out about the hood, it has a clamshell appearance. It is a very, very long hood. It's quite wide as well too. Down here we get into the grill. You have a very aggressive three-dimensional grill. Um, it's not a shark tooth, but it's very scattered, serrated. It's very, very aggressive looking. It also continues down here as well too. So we just took a quick pause to turn on all of the lights before we only had the headlight unit on. Now we got our fog lights down as well too. So I'm gonna start off with fog lights. You have these two rectangular sharp, sharp fog lights at the bottom here. And then up here we have our regular headlight headlamp unit, sorry. Um, everything in this vehicle is an LED. It is so, so bright. At nighttime, if you've ever been on the receiving end of being blinded by other people, you now have the power, not only the horsepower, but the headlight power, you blind anybody. Also over here, we have our really, really sharp orange amber DRL, so your daytime running light. That's also gonna be your turn signal indicator. So if you have your turn signal on, it's gonna beat almost like a heartbeat. Um, kinda also reminds me of a lightning strike, so that's just my personal opinion on it. Um, also in the front grille, we just have tons of dark accents. It looks beautiful with the Pacific blue color, which we'll also take a good look at. Our uh, video bay doesn't do our cars justice, our paint colors. But in person, it is so sparkly and there's so much definition in the paint. So all our metallic shades, they're just, they're stunning. So this is one of my favorite colors for the K5. Then we'll come around to the side and we'll check out the wheels. So these are 19 inch alloys that are exclusive to the GT trim. We'll get a closer look. You also have larger disc brakes. I mean, with extra power, you're gonna wanna have good brakes. So it has tons of stopping power to match its horsepower. We'll come along the side here as well too. Take a look at our turn signal, oh my gosh, turn signal mirror, which also has your turn signal indicator. So that is another amber light, and of course, lights up when you got your turn signal on. Um, these mirrors, they're very sleek looking, ties into the rest of the sleek looking car. This almost looks, um, it's very fast, bass, fast back-ish. Um, in my opinion. So I do love the look of it. It is so sleek. I think the um, shark fin antenna also adds to the sleek look on the vehicle. We'll come around. On the rear, we have almost a diffuser. So that is black and there's a couple um, kind of lined accents in there. And now it doesn't actually serve purpose, but it definitely looks good. And then at the bottom, we have a quad tip dual exhaust or a dual tip exhaust. <laughs> And it is quite uh, loud as well too. Under here we have a nice skid plate, K5 badge, GT badge, and then a bunch of rear sensors. So if you're, I was backing up close to a wall or another vehicle, it would beep at me. That is something you can turn off. Then we'll also pay attention to our beautiful LED tail lights and LED reverse lights. So we'll open this up. There is a release button just located over here and trunk space plus Teddy. So typically we would use um, Teddy to uh, measure our trunk space. Sometimes I've even used myself, but because this is a sedan, it's not that easy to get out and I'm kind of scared of Charlotte closing it on me. So for Teddy, we're okay. You can also fold down your rear seats. So we have two little levers here that say pull and it'll fold them down in a 60-40 split. 
Uh, mind you, this trunk is very, very, very deep. There is a lot of trunk in there. Um, so whatever you need, whether it's coolers, we've tried the cooler challenge, we've tried um, suitcases, everything, it'll fit in here. And also, if we lift this up, we do have a real spare tire located just underneath with your toolkit. And then that also adds a little bit more storage as well too. We'll close that up. Before we head into the vehicle, I'll also just take a look at our spoiler. This is a sports car. What's a sports car without a spoiler? That's not a huge one, no big wang, but we got a nice little <laughs> lip spoiler. I really like how it's black as well too. Everything in the design on the K5 is very cohesive. So everything ties in beautifully. It doesn't matter which color you end up with, it's gonna look good. Now we'll take a look inside and we'll go over the tech features. <laughs> so now we are inside the K5, very, very comfy vehicle for a sedan. Of course, we're not comparing it to an SUV. Um, I'm gonna have a look at the driver's side door first. So Charlotte's gonna come around and show you some of the tech we got over here. First up is our memory seats. So we got two different settings. Our really cool door handles. No one really calls door handles cool, but I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna be that girl. They're easy to use, so they're functional and they're different, right? Um, down here we have our mirror controls and our window controls. These are power folding mirrors, so if I were to press this, they fold right in, press it again, and they'll pop right out. So really nice if you live on a busy street, you don't want anyone digging up your car or your mirrors, fold them in. Down here we'll see we also have all four windows express up and down, so it no one really talks about windows and how useful they are, but now I really wish my car had all up and down windows. I really miss it. So it's very, very nice. And then down here, we have a Bose sound system. So all speakers in this vehicle, there's 12 of them, they're gonna be Bose premium audio. So it is already amazing right off the bat, but you can take it another step further and adjust the bass, the treble, whatever you need to customize it to your liking. Now we'll take a look on the side over here. We have our brightness selector. So this is actually quite useful because if you notice over here, your gauge cluster is fully digital. So that's what we call a supervision cluster. Um, at nighttime, it can get bright. So you can just adjust it to whatever's best for you. So you're not straining your eyes. Over here, we have our lane keep assist setting. So you're gonna hear some beeping because the car's on, but the engine's not on. So your lane keep assist, which will alert you if you start to depart from your lane, and it'll pull you back in. You can turn this off if you do not like it. I know some people don't like it, so. Over here, we have our traction control off. So if you know, you know. And down here, we have our tailgate release. So you press that, open up your tailgate. Unfortunately, you do have to go around to physically close it yourself. Down over here, we have our regular trunk release. And if you'll notice, there's no button for your fuel door release. As long as your car is unlocked, you can just press the fuel door and it'll pop open. Once your car is locked, you can't do that. So no one's gonna siphon your gas. Another cool thing about this vehicle is you do not need premium fuel for your vehicle. So you'll be just fine with regular unleaded gasoline. Of course, if you wanna go the extra step, you can get premium. Now we'll have Charlotte come around and we will talk about everything else in the car. Now, before I have Charlotte join me in the K5, we're just gonna go over the steering wheel controls and the seat controls. And by controls, I don't mean what's on the steering wheel. I mean what you can do with it. So of course you can steer your vehicle, but to get yourself very, very comfortable, especially if you are a spirited driver, you can pull it out, push it in, drop it down and lift it up. So you can truly adjust it to whatever you need and then you lock it back into place. And then for your seat, you do have a couple controls. So this little, um long rectangle one on the bottom is going to be adjusting the bottom. So closer, further away, up, down. And then this one over here is gonna be the backrest of your seat. And then right behind that, sorry, I was about to say below, right behind that is your lumbar support. So you can have it push into your spine, pull out, just to get you optimally comfort. Um, optimal comfort, sorry. <laughs> and then that all ties with your memory seat. So if you have very, very different seating positions from someone else who drives your car, you can have that in just the touch of a button. Now I'll have Charlotte join me and we will also show what the seats look like. <laughs> All right, so before we hop in, let's take a look. Charlotte does have power seats as well. Same controls as me, even lumbar support. So nobody's sacrificing comfort in the K5 GT. And we'll take a look at the seat itself. It is full leather 
with some red piping and red stitching as well too. Very, very sporty and you'll notice they are GT branded. So you have an emblem kind of etched into the seat. I really like how it's not stitched on. It looks almost like it was literally branded into the seat. Um, these are also ventilated and heated. So very good comfort, especially living in Canada. It's either too hot or too cold. So you can really cycle between both. Um, we'll take a look at what's in the center over here. So first up is the phone charger. This is a really, really cool phone charger. A lot of them are just like a flat pad located over here. This one reminds me of like, I don't know, being on a plane. I feel like a fighter pilot would have a phone charger like this. So you literally drop it in. And that way, if you make a sharp turn, your phone's not going anywhere. It's very secure. And then you can tell the status of the charge just by that orange light over there. Over here, these knobs are to adjust the heated and ventilated seats. You also have a heated steering wheel button and your drive mode select. So you have four different drive modes on the K5 GT, starting with normal, then you go down to sport, sport plus, which also disables your traction control, and then custom. Custom is truly what it says, custom. You can customize it to whatever you want. You can customize the braking, the engine, everything. And then we'll go on to this side. So this is Charlotte's heat and ventilation, or whoever your passenger is, probably not Charlotte. And over here we have our auto hold button. So this is my favorite feature. Everybody, they kind of look past it until they have it in their everyday life and realize it is so useful. First thing I do when I get into my car is turn it on. So when I fully depress the brake pedal, it'll hold me at a stop until I hit the gas. You can see how that would be useful in everyday life. You're doing a lot of stopping. Red lights, drive throughs whatever. And then over here, we also have our parking brake. So it's electronic. You just push it down, pull it up, and it will release or engage as needed. Over here, we have our transmission. So it is tied to an eight-speed dual clutch transmission. You can have it into drive and manually select your gears like this, or you also have the option of your paddle shifters that are just located right on your steering wheel. So to increase, decrease your gear. So downshift and upshift. Over here, we got our cup holder, sorry for the back and forth. <laughs> and then up, up here, we have two USBs. This one's for connectivity. So your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, USB music. Um, if you put music on a file, you put it in there. Over here, we have a charger. So that one's just for fast charging and then a 12 volt as well. Right over here, we have our automatic climate control. So it is dual zone. That means I have my temperature set and your passenger can have their own or you can sync it just with the touch of a button. It is automatic climate control as well too. So I could have it set to 19 degrees, for example, and it will take me there either on speed three, two, or one. I'm gonna turn that off because it gets very noisy when we're filming. Really cool thing about this vehicle is that you have a heated windshield and you could see why that'd be so useful in Canada because ice. I do not like scraping ice, I don't know about you. So you literally just turn it on, it's that little button right over there. Gotta make sure climate control is on first. Oh, I guess in senses there's no ice. Um, it'll literally melt snow and ice off of your windshield, so no scraping involved. Then we have just our regular climate controls, fan speed, temperature, all of that. On your 10 and a quarter inch screen, you do have navigation built in. So I can just go to my map over here and we'll close that up. So you can just look at your map as you're driving, or you can actually set a route into your navigation. It'll tell you your turn by turn as you drive. A couple other features on here is just your navigation menu. There is a valet mode, Kia Connect, which is basically accessing your vehicle from your phone. So you can start it, check its status. Um, you also get your user's manual on the screen as well too, which is something that's quite cool. All of your driving settings though, like your features will be located right over here under vehicle. We'll give her a second. So forward safety, this is equipped with advanced forward safety collision avoidance, so it can pick up pedestrian, cyclists, junction turns, cars, of course. Um, it is very safe. If you do not like these features, you can turn them off, but they are quite nice to drive with. I always recommend trying it for at least a week to see if you love it. If you don't love it, then everything can be turned off, and you can turn it back on again later if you change your mind. Lane safety is another great one, so you actually have the button to quickly turn it on on your steering wheel. So you can literally turn it on or off on the fly. It basically just steers for you. Blind spot safety, a lot of people like this one as well too. Your um, mirrors will light up in your blind spot if there is a car there. And it can avoid a collision actually because it will um, kind of pull you back into your lane if you start changing lanes when there's someone there. 
very, very cool thing on this vehicle is the active sound design. So you can have some artificial engine noise into your cabin if you'd like a really, really loud purr. Now, this vehicle is already quite, it's not noisy per se in a bad way, but it does have a nice rumble to it. You can truly tell it's not your average sedan. It is a sporty vehicle. Um, you can also have that turned off if you do not like it and you're looking for a more quiet ride. Heads up display is a very, very cool feature. It's also very, very hard to film. So, <laughs> I mean, this is probably our best way to show it. It shows your speed. Um, you can also show what it controls. So if you like your radio info, your blind spot, it'll tell you if there's a car in your blind spot and which side it's on. Um, turn by turn is gonna be, if you have a route set on your navigation, it'll show you your turn by turn on the heads up display and even traffic signs, so your speed limit. It is very, very cool. It also works for if you're in a school zone or um, reduced uh, speed limit zone. <laughs> I don't know the correct term for it, sorry. And you can also adjust your height and brightness as well too. And this will change for your memory seats as well. Cluster, this is pretty cool. So you can set the theme on your cluster or you can let it change when you change your drive mode. So that's what I have right now. So I'll have Charlotte pan over to our digital cluster so you can see what I'm talking about. Right now, I'm just on normal mode, so it just looks like this. But once I put it into sport, you have sporty dials. Sport Plus will have the same, and then custom is just normal again. But once you uh, choose what your custom thing is going to look like, you can have it set to whatever you'd like. Welcome sound. I always turn that on because it's one of my favorite things. It's a nice chime. All right, so before we hop into the bigger seats, I just want to show you some of my other favorite features. So we do have cabin LED lights. So it didn't just stop with the front lights. Everything in here is an LED, and at nighttime, like right now, it's not doing too much, but at nighttime, these are very, very bright, whether you want to read in your car, I don't know, examine your skin, you could totally see. Also, we have our beautiful sunroof, so this is a panel roof. It stops at around here. Mind you, of course, the glass isn't gonna go to the very, very back of the vehicle, but even with it closed, you have a beautiful view of the sky, and it is powered for the um, cover as well, too, so you never have to worry about reaching back. If you do not like too much fresh air, you don't want to mess up your hair, I understand. If you push it up like a button, you do get kind of a vent to let a little bit of fresh air in, but it won't really mess with you. My favorite feature. Now we'll hop into the back and show you just how comfy it is as well. All right, my friends, now we're in the back seat of the K5. I'll have Charlotte come a little bit closer because what I want to show you may not surprise you or may surprise you, who knows? Um, we did film a K5 LX, which is the entry level for the K5, about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago now. And one thing I had to say that I didn't love was that this little hump in the middle was really, really high. Like I'm talking, I was almost folded high. Um, due to the lack of all-wheel drive in the GT, it is only front-wheel drive. This is much more tolerable, so I could sit here for a long drive and I'd be okay. I'm not that short either, so even taller passengers, you probably wouldn't want to stick them in the middle, but they will be fine, they will survive. Another cool thing that is in the rear seats of the K5 GT, your seats are heated, so that's located just on your door panel right over there. The red stitching continues as well as the soft touch materials as well too. So the design elements throughout this vehicle is so cohesive, you don't lose any sort of styling elements back here, which is one thing that other manufacturers are just not getting. Um, they literally do, all their power into the front and then the back is just like is this a base model or what so it is very very nice over here i'll also show you the backs of the seats so you do have a leather pocket which i really like a lot of vehicles have the mesh pocket so if you have ipads laptops whatever it may be you can store them in there and they're pretty secure pretty safe no one can see what's going on there seats are so so comfy this feels like a leather couch like seriously i might take a nap when we're done filming um, and these seats, like, it does still have the red stitching. It is very sporty, luxurious. It's got a little bit of everything. Another thing that's not in the other features or the other trim lines of the K5 are rear air vents. So I know it seems like something that all trims should have, but this is only available in the GT. So if you really want to give your pa rear passengers AC, you might have to go with the sporty one. And then down here, we have two USBs. So everyone's going to have a charged phone. That's about it for the uh, rear seats of the vehicle. Now we'll take a look outside one more time and that'll be the end. Okay, my friends, so that sums up our video on the K5. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please let us know down in the comments. Hopefully we get a couple more cool cars like this because it's gonna make me very, very happy. See you next time.